Hello guys, before we get into this video, please help me out by subscribing to my channel and also pressing that bell so that you get notified when new videos come out and smash that like button. Thank you. Hello guys, this is Ryan. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to produce the highest quality image in Critter. It Critter is a free program which you can download. It's for, you know, designing. You can also use this, I'm pretty sure, for animation, but you know, it's a lot of work. But I'm going to leave a link in the description down below so that you guys can download it and, you know, also, you know, use this program and use these tips that I'm going to also provide in upcoming days on how to, you know, prevent lag. Because there are also, like, lag problems, which I'm going to make a separate video on that. But today we're only going to focus on quality of, like, image, like, output. So first what you want to do, after you've created your image and you're satisfied with, you know, the look of it, you want to go to File and then Export. You guys should already know this because, you know, oh, well, the people that have been using it should already know this. But to the people that haven't and it's their first time, this is a good way of uh, learning. So anyways, uh, I'm going to, what I normally produce my files in, or the, like, the file type, is I normally produce it in JPEG format. And so I'm going to save it as a JPEG in the, the folder and I'm going to call it um, test. And I'm going to replace it because there's already one there and also going to set the quality to 100% and don't I don't think you'll need to mess with these things unless you want to you know fill in the you know the transparent background with a certain color but I just already made it white so that's all right now what you want to do is go to advanced quality then go subsampling then it should be on default by uh, on default it should be 2 by 2 by 1 by 1 by 1 by 1 which is the smallest file size but now, since we're only focusing on the quality and it doesn't really matter about the size, we're going to go with a 1 by 1 by 1 best quality setting. That's pretty simple. Um, now, what you want to do is then untick optimize. Optimize basically just reduces the file size or the, 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 file, the, the, the image quality so that you, know, you can make the file size smaller. I'm not sure what base uh, false baseline JPEG is, uh, but... That that's all basically. Um, metadata re really shouldn't have any effect on you. I'm not sure what that is base uh, like entirely about. But now what you want to do is just press OK. It now created the file in you know your selected folder or wherever you, you know you set it to. And you can also do it with uh, PNG. So P the one with the PNG is a lot more clear. It's more evident. You can see it there, and you should know by default because it tells you how to. Um, to improve the quality, but I'm just going to show you, you know, just for, you know, new people, just in case they don't understand. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, well, it, that shouldn't pop up for you, but only for me because I already had it in the folder. So anyways, you want to go to where it's compression lossless. So if you drag it to zero or one, it increases the file size and it, you know, you don't lose, you know, you keep the same, you retain the same quality, but if you make the file size to nine, it makes the file size smaller, but then sacrifices the quality of the image. So, in this situation, you'd want to make it 1. Uh, embed, I'm, I'm not sure what this is, not sure what that is. A lot of these things I'm not really sure about. But, for the best quality picture, with a PNG, you just have to select, drag it to 1. So now press OK, and just go to your folder. And, you know, all these files should be here. So you, oh, this is the... Oh, this is the old, there's, there's one old one that's, uh, I'm going to zoom in, because I, I, I recreated it so that I could change the name at the bottom and made it, made it white instead, because I, I actually created this myself, I'm actually pretty proud, um, I'm, I'm hoping to make better, you know, quality images with, uh, a drawing pad, which will, you know, help significantly, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, tomorrow a new tutorial will come out, probably will to come out, and it's on how to reduce lag on Critter because I've experienced like input lag or I've seen input lag uh, from various people on forums and stuff. So I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to like fix these small issues for like lower end PCs basically. So if you have a potato as a computer and you experience lag when drawing and you know it's always terrible to experience that type of lag. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please have a like and subscribe. Goodbye. I'm not a good girl. You said that you wanted to see the world.